and welcome to this week's episode of Young Turks, India's longest running show on entrepreneurship. I'm Shireen Bhan. Our first guest today is only 30. Anirudh Dhamani is a serial entrepreneur and angel investor. In fact, he's been investing since 2008 with the Dallas Angel Network, the Mumbai Angels, the Indian Angel Network and Venture Nursery. So in March this year, Anirudh thought it was time to set up his own network. Arts Venture Partners has been funded by the Kedamani Group of Companies, Anirudh's family business, and it focuses on retail startups, e-commerce enablers, and ventures in the hospitality and travel space. With a portfolio of 21 companies, 3 in the US and 18 in India, Arts Venture has invested half a million dollars and is looking to exit five of these startups in the next two years. Let's take a look at Anirudh's journey. A graduate from Austin College in Texas in the U.S. with a double major in economics and business administration, Anirudh is the third generation in his family to choose investing as his primary business. Having started his career with a small power broking company in Dallas in the United States, Anirudh realized he had a knack for investing in startups four years back. When his individual portfolio touched 20 startups, he decided to set up Arthur Venture Partners. Anirudh partners with other angel networks and restricts his investment ticket size between 1.5 crore rupees to 2 crores for a 25% stake. This money he prefers to pump into the venture in 2-3 to three tranches. Having invested in 21 companies to date, we asked Anirudh how he and his team of 10 deal with competitors in this space. We don't really see them as competition because there's a lot of syndication that goes on in terms of deals. So, you know, we participate in, in a lot of deals that, comes, that come through Indian Angel Network or Mumbai Angels or Venture Nursery. We source our own deals as well. We get some deals even from Dallas Angel Network. Uh, so, it, I don't really see too much of competition. But yes, there is, every single network does have their own USP, their own way of doing business. What we intend to do is that uh, as a company, we want to get into programs where we want to educate, in, educate the entrepreneur from the very start and help them have systems and processes in place, uh, have, have, have a strong sales and marketing team and uh, be able to, uh, you know, have the right process from day one, the right structure from day one. So we're going to start looking at getting into more incubation and even some education for startups, you know, in terms of uh, putting together programs and uh, courses for them to learn how to start a company. One of Arthur's portfolio companies is Delhi-based Oravel Stays, in which a seed round was invested along with Venture Nursery in January this year. Founded by 19-year-old Ritesh Agarwal, Oravel.com is an online marketplace for non-hotels and homestays for budget travellers. With over 3,500 rooms listed on the site across India, Ritesh says what Anirudh brought to the table was not restricted to the funds alone. He was one of the first um, investors of ours who sort of mystery shop across our properties. So he would book places uh, and, and go stay there himself and make sure that he comes back with one of the best reviews. So uh, some, that's something that we really loved because he was not one of, uh, he, he although spoke about what we were trying to do, helped us with what we were trying to do. But on the third part, also went ahead on the ground and told us what we could do better. That is something that we really loved about what Anirudh does. Uh, more importantly, talking about the specifics, uh, he's uh, very helpful in the form of helping us build the right form of marketing courses because he sort of understands the consumer market in that manner. And second, he has a very strong communication and partnership with venture capitalists who sort of will probably help us raise the next rounds eventually. What really gets me excited is when someone comes out with a value proposition for you know the customer and for the provider and makes it makes things much much easier in terms of the transaction and that's that's what gets me really really excited so you know that's something like what Oravel does it makes transactions a lot easier there's a few other companies we're looking at today that make uh, transactions happening a lot a lot easier so that's what really excites me apart from Artha Venture Partners Anirudh has also set up Artha Energy Resources a power advisory firm that oversees facilitation of new investments into the power generation industry in India with its primary focus on renewable power. His second venture in this space is Artha Energy Projects, which was set up last year to build projects in the renewable energy space across sectors like solar, wind, hydro and biopower. Our intention is uh, we're allocating a lot of our portfolio now towards renewable and clean tech 
In fact, we just uh, recently uh, invested into a renewable power asset that uh, and our intention is to own about 25 megawatts of power within two years and uh, you know have a pipeline of an, at least another 100 megawatts at the end of two years. We are also looking to get into the biogas scene, so you know where you take waste and you convert biogas, uh, convert it to biogas. So that's another area we're getting into. Having committed a million dollars to startups already, Anirudh is looking to raise funds in 2015. Having exited one investment already, Anirudh's big milestone is to grow his portfolio from the current 21 to 45 companies in the next two years. Anirudh here is wishing you the very best of luck with all your future plans. Before we head into a break, here's a roundup of all the entrepreneurial headlines in the week gone by on the YT News Feed. Backed by the response that Google's Create Online Shopping Festival got in 24 hours last year, where e-retailers saw 350% growth in daily sales, Google decided to launch an extended 3-day online sale this year. Over 200 e-commerce websites were a part of this festival, but it was a suffering start with the GOSF website crashing on day one, reportedly due to the unexpectedly heavy traffic. But Google made a quick recovery. Our young Turk, Snapdeal.com, reports that despite the crash, they registered a 10x spice in sales as compared to last year. So it was no surprise when Google announced on Friday that they were extending the great online sale by another day. Flipkart.com launched its in day guarantee service this week for an additional shipping fee of 90 rupees per item. For now, this service is available in Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore, Pune and Hyderabad. Phone directory application Truecaller partnered with social networking site Twitter in India to increase its current user base. Under this partnership, Truecaller's 22 million users in India will now be able to see if a number is connected with a Twitter account and will be able to tweet or follow a person directly through the Truecaller app. In a roundup of news from our Young Turks community, Dingana, an on-demand streaming music service, has partnered with General Mobile to get its music app pre-installed on all Intech, Zen, Hi-Tech, Entech and Max mobile devices. Online eyewear store Lenskart launched Home Eye Checkup program where a van will bring a certified optometrist at consumer's doorstep along with Lenskart's best-selling 200 to 250 pairs of eyeglasses and sunglasses to choose from. Digital magazine store and newsstand Maxter has raised $10 million in a Series B round of funding led by Singapore Press Holdings along with existing investor Kalari Capital.